Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Smashified. There was a bit of a delay on this one, but it is here now, so I'm happy to finally be showing it off. As you can see on the screen, we are currently looking at the sketch for Banjo and Kazooie. And with me today to help me with commentary is one of the new musicians that has joined our team, and his name is Nathaniel Platier. Did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Awesome. So Nathaniel is actually somebody who contacted me uh, shortly after, was it Rayman or Shovel Knight? I can't remember. Um, it was right after Shovel Knight, because I think that's when you were talking about needing um, more musicians and stuff. Right. So I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta hop on and <laughs> gotta get out on this hype train. Yeah. So I I messaged you and all went out from there, I guess. Yeah. And the funny thing is, you actually live 12 yeah. minutes from me. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually spent, uh, was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was we were, Tuesday. We hung out for the first time and we played cards against humanity and it was embarrassing and terrible. Which and was a great stupid. way of finding out yeah, exactly. <laughs> everyone's personalities and stuff. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, but yeah, Banjo and Kazooie this is something that I've really wanted to do for for a while, and the requests were definitely way in favor of this character this time around. Mm -hmm. So, so this seemed like a no-brainer to me. And one of the things that I really wanted to do with Banjo and Kazooie was to try to imagine what he might look like if if Nintendo had still had the rights to Banjo and like. Mm -hmm. the, the redesign for Banjo and Kazooie is something that's very divisive. I, I imagine some people like it, but I think the majority opinion is that it's inferior to the original designs. Mm -hmm. So, what I wanted to do is imagine if, say, Retro Studios had been the ones to uh, continue the legacy, what his design might look like as it, if it gradually evolved from what it was in the N64. So, I kind of went into like an in-between version of the redesign and the original with a lot of inspiration from Donkey Kong just because they have like a common origin with Rareware so yeah I thought it made sense but yeah this is a uh, this is it so far and it, it's kind of funny when I look at this in progress before I have the fur on there it actually looks pretty hideous like some sort of <laughs> hairless bear or something like that <laughs> it's kind of scary but um, yeah, this is uh, definitely one of the top requests, and I'm really glad that I'm doing it right now because, hilariously enough, when they announced the Smash Ballot, uh, <laughs> Phil Spencer <laughs> tweeted out that he would love for yeah. Banjo to be in the game. That's crazy. Yeah, so I, I like, remember seeing that too. Yeah. So as soon as he saw that, I was like, oh, I've got to finish this thing. And so this is this is it. And it was pretty much a race against time, really. Yeah. I really want to, because there's a lot of banjo hype right now, so I really want to kind of ride it out. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I, I forgot what I was about to say. This is embarrassing. Anyway. <laughs> it's so, funny because this is a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, okay. it's fine. Anyway, so you have been doing music for how long now? Oh, I don't know. I don't even remember without like going back onto my old profiles. It's been It's been about five or six years I think um, okay. started off doing like really really terrible um, remixes of like Zelda games and stuff um, and just went up from there like I've just been I took like a, a small break like a I say small but it was about a whole year um, a year of music like I just had a complete music block and I was like Ugh. But eventually, eventually I got back into it and I started developing my own style and stuff and it's been a great experience like working with with you and with video game music again because I don't know, that's just my passion. Like I can do original stuff but there's just like a certain joy of like remixing games from your childhood and stuff like mm -hmm. it, it's just really special to me I guess. Yeah, so. definitely. That's one of the things that uh, inspires me to do music as well, because I'm not really good at writing anything original. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm not really good at creating art that's original either. All of my things are like <laughs> imitations of other people's styles. But uh, video game remixes is, is something that I, I've wanted to do for a long time. And back when I was a kid, I would I would listen to a lot of OC Remix stuff. Mm -hmm. And I aspired to do that kind of thing. But 
The first time I tried to create something like that, I I created like a, a Green Hill Zone remix of some kind. Mm-hmm. And it was in GarageBand, and it was just terrible. And I posted <laughs> it on the forums there, and it's like there's this one guy who said, "I'm just gonna say this right now. This is probably not gonna get onto the site." And that was like. Oh, the most disheartening thing I've ever heard. So I, no. I kind of give up on it until <laughs> kind of recently where I, I, I went out and bought Logic Pro for $200 mm-hmm. and just started doing more stuff. And I guess I just, with my musical background in playing piano for about 10 years since I was like six years old, and then having been in band and things like that, I have some musical experience, not cre- not creating, like producing things, mm-hmm. but yeah, you know, I have a, a taste for music so I just started honing my skills and before you know it I'm creating music for a video with Rayman in it and apparently people like the song because I'm out of downloads for SoundCloud so oh, <laughs> I wow. need to figure out what I need to do with that that's but, pretty cool Yeah. so now we're looking at the part where I started doing the fur and this was a, a very big experiment for me and I, I posted on DeviantArt and Twitter and things like that a little test that I, I did by recreating Donkey Kong's arm mm-hmm. and I think some people were under the impression I also drew like a little ball of fur just to kind of get practice with the brushes mm-hmm. and I think some people were under the impression that I was just looking at that arm and then made the ball and so when I said I recreated Donkey Kong's arm somebody was like that looks more like a coconut and I was like actually no <laughs> I did the arm also that's not oh. the original arm <laughs> so I think I fooled one person into thinking that that was the actual Omni thing. strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I think a it's fun. a very successful test, though. Like, it, it looks very authentic, though. Yeah. I mean, I think if you look at it really closely, it's not as polished as the real thing, but, you know, I, I did my best, and I imagine I'll continue to improve my techniques as I experiment with things like this. And that's one of the things I really like about these, is that... Uh, the experimentation is is huge because I learned so much just by trying to replicate something that I've never done before. Oh yeah, definitely. So, and this was experimental for you as well because when you oh, did this yeah. song. <laughs> oh yeah, it and I, I do. Just give me a little warning out there. I do like the music to Banjo Kazooie, but it's like a different genre of music that I'm used to. Like it's very, very not country. It's bluegrassy I well, guess it's kind of, it reminds me of like a one man band or something or like a yeah or... and it's very hard to like transition that into my typical orchestral genre mm-hmm. and it, I love this, the music and stuff but there's not a lot of references to it either yeah like there's maybe like only one really really good remix that I saw of like all the themes and there wasn't much to go by so yeah. It and was I, very experimental, but I, I still had fun with it um, when all said and done. Well, I'm glad because I felt really bad as you were struggling and you were messaging me back and forth. And I was like, oh, oh no. my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the first song you do, and it's not something that you're, you're oh used to doing. Oh my gosh. I was so. Before I met you, like in real life, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be my first impression. It's going to be terrible. It's, it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. And, but. After meeting you, you were like, pretty cool, actually. So. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad that I have another chance after this. Yeah, we'll have plenty of chances. <laughs> I'm so sure. pleased with it, but I'm glad that I, I mean, have another chance. It turned chance. out pretty well. I mean, you yeah, struggled a bit with the for my first, there, but... For my first time doing this type of song, I, I think it turned out relatively well, so... Yeah, and I, I helped a little bit with the percussion yes. stuff, but that's just because I was a percussionist in band, so I kind of had a, a somewhat of an idea to, of what to do. So, just and that little uh, glockenspiel part in there was his idea too. He mixed in, is it the melee thing? Yes, that the, one. Yeah, he mixed. He that was his idea, and I loved it. <laughs> I'm glad. It was a great addition. Yeah. And typically when I do music, it's more like EDM-inspired, kind of like mm. chipper. Uh, a, lot, a lot of my inspiration is stuff like Super Monkey Ball and Mega Man, Kirby. So I'm usually doing these really fast-paced electronic kind of things. Mm. So when it comes to orchestral stuff, I have not even the slightest clue of how to create that. And I don't think Logic is very good for that stuff anyway. So Yeah, I usually use Cubase with all the orchestral stuff. Right. But ironically enough, Cubase is really bad with 
um, electronic music. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes hand in hand, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's like the polar opposite of uh, what's it called, Ableton, where it's like strictly for creating things that are yeah. loops and things like that. <clears throat> I'm loving the the detail on the feathers, though. I have to just point that out as we're watching this. Yeah, that was a big challenge for me. Uh, I had done like a Galactonite from Kirby back in the day, and it it was like one feather image that I repeated over and over again for his wings, which was not good enough for this kind of thing. So I had to Mm -hmm. experiment again. As usual, I don't know what I'm doing, (laughs) but I'm, I'm decently good at improvising, so. You're hopefully, very <laughs> hopefully it turned out pretty well. And then we have the money shot. Wow. So get a close look at everything. Show off some of that fur. Those eyes were a challenge to get right. And I don't know if I'm still... I still don't know if I'm quite satisfied with them, but... Uh, I love the pants. details on all these things, too. And Kazooie, I really wanted to make sure Kazooie looks like a girl because the original design mm-hmm. doesn't look that feminine. But there we go. Banjo and Kazooie get jiggy with it. <laughs> we were talking back and forth and whether or not that was a good idea for, for the catchphrase, but we just stuck with it. So there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching this. And as usual, if you want to have one of your favorite characters smashified, then you can tweet at us or message in the comments. And I'm actually creating a new thing where I actually have a, a smashified Twitter account. So rather than using the hashtag, if you want to just tweet at smashified, then you can do that now. So there's that. And as always, you can check out the full artwork. And if you want to watch the version with the actual song, I recommend you do that because Nathaniel did a really great job on it. So (laughs) go watch that and go listen to it. It's awesome. And as usual, I hope you guys subscribe. And I hope you guys are looking forward to more Smashified. The next one should not take as long. I promise. So sorry about that. Also, big news coming up, but that's going to be another video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.